Welcome to our 23rd video with data structures and algorithms. And we are going to do an example of uh, finding the longest common subsequence out of these two lists here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up a two dimensional array right here. And we are um, visualizing it right by drawing this table. And the first thing that we have to do is to initialize uh, this first row and this first column all to zeros. Because uh, this is just going to be um, kind of our starter uh, row and column. It's kind of a dummy row, if you will. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here at D. And we are going to compare D with each element in X up here. And we're going to find a, any matches. So what we do is, here, when we compare D and A, they are not the same character. So what we do with this value is we take the larger of either of these two right here, meaning the upper one or the left one. Anywhere that we are, you'll see what I mean. So since they are the same, we're always going to take the upper one. Okay, so I'm going to draw a zero there. And we will point to where we got that from. This way, we can trace back uh, up through this uh, two dimensional array and find our longest common uh, subsequence. So um, now let's go over to B, right? These aren't the same, so we're gonna take the zero from the top here, and I'm gonna write my arrow. Uh, C and D, right, are not the same. So again, we're gonna take uh, this right here, and let's just draw our zero. And now we get to D and D. These are the same. So in this scenario, right, in this case, we're going to add one to the diagonal. Okay? So let's do that. So there's one. And let's point our arrow, right, towards where we already got that. So now we got C and D, and those do not match. So we're going to take the uh, larger of these two values. And that would be one, right? And again, we want to point to where we got that from, right? There we go. Now, from here, right, D and B, those are not the same. So again, we're going to take this one, right? And we're going to take it from right here. Okay, so let's just point to that. And then same thing with A. I'm going to draw the arrow first since I'm still in that color. Okay, and then uh, we took a one. So there we go, we were finished with D. Now let's go over to C. So C and A do not match. So we'll take this zero, right, since they're the same. So let's draw our zero and let's point to where we got that value from. C and B are not the same. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did before. And we will do a zero here since they're the same. And draw our arrow. Okay, and now we have C and C, right? Those are the same. So we're gonna add one to this diagonal. Okay, so there's our one right there. And let's point, let me get my other color. Let's point over to where we got that from. Now we have C and D. Those are not the same, right? So we're going to take the upper one, right? Since these are the same. So we'll take this one and let's point to it. C and C are the same, right? At this point. So let's add one to the diagonal. So uh, I need to keep switching back and forth between colors here. So two and we'll point to where we got that from. Okay, now C and B, right? Those are not the same. So we take the larger of the two, and it happens to be this two. So let's draw a two in here and make our arrow. Okay, and C and A are not the same. So again, we will take the larger of these two, and it was it was B, it will be the two. It was B, I don't know what I'm talking about. Here we go, there's that. Okay. B, right? B and A. Those are not the same. So we're going to take that upper zero. If 
by now you should be getting the idea, right, of why I took this upper zero. B and B are the same. Let's add one to the diagonal and draw our arrow. Okay, B and C, those are not the same. However, these ones are the same, so let's take the top one and we will point to that one. B and D are not the same, of course, so we'll take uh, the larger, this, this is the same, so let's take the top one, change colors, and draw our arrow. Okay, B and C, again, not the same, so we'll take the larger of the two, that happens to be two. And let's point our arrow to that one, because that's where we got it from. B and B, we found a match. Let's add one to the diagonal, that's a three. And here we go. All right, we got this from here. B and A are not the same, so let's take the larger of these two, which is three. And we will point to where we got that from. Okay, next row. A and A are the same, so let's add one to the diagonal. That gives us one. And make sure to point to that one. A and B now, right? Those are not the same. So we're gonna take the top one. And again, you should get the idea of why I took the top one. A and C are not the same. Let's again take the top one. Let's point to it, lots of arrows here. A and D, not the same. So again, continue to take this top one because all of these ones are the same. A and C, right, they are not the same. Let's take the larger of the two, which is the two, and make sure to point. There we go. A and B, not the same. Let's take the three, right? Larger of the two. And finally, A and A, those are the same. So let's add one to uh, the diagonal here. It gives us four. And we will point uh, up here. Now, we have another A, right? And clearly, this should be the same as this A because it's really um, right after it. So nothing has changed from this. So you'll see that, uh, I'm just gonna do this row really quickly. This will be exactly the same as the above row because it just happened and we didn't change anything. All right, so where did we get this one from? Well, they matched, so I took it from this, All right, identical, A and B are not the same. We took this top one. A and C aren't the same, so we take the top one. A and D aren't the same, same deal, take the top one. A and C aren't the same, so we take the larger of the two here. A and B are not the same. We took that, and A and A are the same, so we did this, right? We add one to the diagonal. Okay, so B and A are not the same. Let's take the larger value. B and B are the same. So let's add one to the diagonal here, two. And I'm gonna point. B and C are not the same. So we take the larger of the two. Make sure to point to that one. And then B and D are not the same, clearly. So uh, we're again gonna take the larger, which is the two. And let's make sure to point to that. And then we have B and C. Uh, so those are not the same. We're gonna take the top one since these twos are matching. Okay. B and B is a match. So let's add one to the diagonal. So make sure to point to the correct place, right? And finally, um, B and A are not the same. So we take the larger of these two, which is the four. 
So let's just draw our four. Make sure we point our arrow to where we got it from. And we'll do this last row here. So C and A are not the same, so we're going to take the one. And make sure we point our arrows. Oops, yeah, it's okay. And again, B and C, not the same. Let's take the two. Almost there. Let's point. Now we have C and C. That's a match. Let's add one to the diagonal. And point again. Now we have C and D. These are not the same. So we're going to take the larger of these two, which is the three. Oops. And make sure to point to that one. C and C is a match. Let's add one to the diagonal, right? Three. And we will point to that. C and B do not match. So we're going to take the top one, right? Since the threes match. And we'll point our arrow. And finally, we have C and A, which do not match. So we'll take the larger of the two, which is four. And let's point to that. Now, all we have to do is to trace back over our arrows and find our subsequence. So here, let's do something like this. Here we go. So we're going to start from this corner and we're going to follow our arrows. So we're here, right? Where did we get this from? We got this from up here. So let's circle that one. Where did we get this one from? We got this one from up here. So we're good. Now, we're about to change direction here, right? So in this case, when you do that, let's mark this one with a different color. And we'll keep going. So we got this 4 from adding 1 to this 3. And we got this 3 from right here. Now again, we're about to uh, transition on a diagonal, so let's mark this one and keep going. So we got this three from this two, and again we're going to make a diagonal transition, so let's mark this. Right? And then we got this two by adding uh, to this one, and again we're going to go back up on a transition, uh, which means we'll mark this and wrap one, so we're done. So our subsequence uh, is like this, backwards. So our first one, um, I'm going to rewrite this, uh, longest common subsequence. Okay, so our first index of this will be D, right? See how our Ds match up. So this is going to be D. The second one will be here, right? Here's C. Our third one will be here, that's B. And our fourth one is right here, A. So, um, with a little bit of a uh, little bit of work here through uh, through this two-dimensional array, we were able to find the longest common subsequence uh, from two uh, lists.